University Health Kidney Transplant Patient Education Class. Welcome to University Transplant Center. We are excited to partner with you on your transplant journey. Our faculty and staff are national leaders in the field of transplantation. Our program has been performing kidney transplants for 50 years. We are recognized as a center of excellence. Your transplant team, resources available to you are the nurse coordinator, your guide through the process, transplant physicians, social workers, dietitians, financial coordinators, pharmacists, advanced care planning coordinators, patient navigator or list navigator, and the discharge nurse educator. You are the most important part of our team. Treatment options. Transplant options are deceased donor transplant, living donor transplant, and alternative treatment options are dialysis and medical management. Benefits of transplantation. You live longer, it's a better quality of life, you're more independent, and it's less expensive. The best treatment option is living donation. Living donor option. Living donor options last longer, an average of 15 to 20 years or more. They start working faster. You get transplanted sooner. Your health insurance covers the donor's testing and surgery, while most private insurance, co-pays and deductibles are the recipient's responsibility until their out-of-pocket maximum is met. Living kidney donors tend to live longer because they are healthy and they go back to their normal life after donation. Living donation. Living donation handouts are provided to you to hand to your potential donor. Hand some out to spread the word. The donors will go online to www.utclivingdonor.com to fill out a medical summary form called the Breeze form. Make your transplant happen. Participate in our Champion for Life Living Donor Program. Identify a family member or friend to be your donor champion. Your donor champion is someone you feel comfortable sharing your story. We will show your donor champion how to share your story on social media and social groups. You are not alone. Transplant selection criteria. Patient must have kidney function at a low level, healthy weight, medically compliant, healthy heart, strong social support, medical screening clearance, and no illegal drug use. Pre-transplant evaluation. We want to make sure you are healthy enough for a major surgery. You will have a transplant physician exam, heart testing, chest x-ray, age-appropriate cancer screenings, social work evaluation, dental evaluation if recommended or required by insurance provider, dietary evaluation if not provided at dialysis, blood tests, CT abdomen pelvis, and any additional tests the doctor feels is necessary. Getting listed. Once evaluation is completed, the transplant team reviews your evaluation. The team decides if you are a candidate for transplant, and if approved, you will be placed on the UNOS waitlist at that time. Not all candidates will be accepted for listing. You will be notified in writing when you are placed on the transplant list or not. You have the option to refuse transplantation at any time. Transplant waitlist. The waiting list is a nationwide computerized network with over 100,000 people waiting for kidney transplant. Living donation is the best option to decrease wait time. The list is managed by United Network for Organ Sharing, UNOS. UNOS is supervised by the federal government who helps to ensure that patients receive healthy organs as they become available. The United Network for Organ Sharing provides a toll-free patient service line to help transplant candidates, recipients, and family members understand organ allocation practices and transplantation data. You may also call this number to discuss a problem you may be experiencing with your transplant center or the transplantation system in general. The toll-free patient service line number is 1-888-894-6361 or visit www.unos.org. Average waiting times. Wait times may vary based on blood type. O blood type, 5 to 8 year wait. A blood type, 3 to 6 year wait. B blood type, 5 to 7 year wait. And AB blood type, 2 to 4 year wait. On average, wait times are 5 to 6 years. To decrease wait times, talk to family and friends about living donation. Your wait time starts at your first date of dialysis or your list date if you're not yet on dialysis. Once listed, you must be ready for the call for transplant. 
dual listed, each transplant center has their own criteria and each center completes their own workup. You can dual list with other transplant centers. The right match. Organ offers are made based on the best match between a donor and you. Based on medical conditions, you and the donor get a score. The scores are matched up to meet your life expectancy needs. Estimated post-transplant survival score is given to the recipient and is a range from 0% to 100%. The EPTS score is based on the current diagnosis of diabetes, time on dialysis, the candidate's age, and any prior solid organ transplant. The Kidney Donor Profile Index, or the KDPI, is the percentage assigned to the deceased donor. Classified by KDPI is based on the donor age, height, weight, ethnicity, history of hypertension, history of diabetes, cause of death, serum creatinine, hepatitis C virus status, and donation after circulatory death. KDPI greater than 85% is when donor kidneys are scored 85% or above and they are associated with a shorter estimated function time. Offers are reviewed by our surgeons who consider whether the benefits outweigh the risk of not receiving that particular kidney. You will have an opportunity to agree or decline a KDPI kidney offer of greater than 85%. Donor kidney offers. You may be offered a standard donor offer, donation after circulatory death, a hepatitis C positive offer if you are consented, hepatitis B core antibody positive, KDPI greater than 85% if you consent, public health safety or PHS. All donors are screened for diseases. If you accept an increased risk offer, you will be screened closely after transplant. Donors will be screened and tested for novel coronavirus, and even though the results are negative, there is still a small risk of transmission to the recipient. As with any risk, the physician has reviewed and believes that the benefit outweighs the risks. If you decline an increased risk offer, you are not penalized. COVID-19 additional precautions. Due to the increased need for protection during the COVID-19 pandemic emergency, you will be required to self-quarantine as follows. In preparation for surgery, if you're receiving a scheduled living donor kidney surgery, you will need to self-quarantine for two weeks prior to surgery. For either deceased donor or living donor transplant, you will need to self-quarantine for four weeks after surgery. Please review the CDC guidelines and ensure you are following all precautions at all times to protect yourself and your family before and after transplant. What can you do while you wait? Complete monthly transplant lab work, Stay in contact with us regarding any changes, follow up with your routine health maintenance such as immunizations, cancer screenings, and your individual medical diagnosis follow-up, stay active and at a healthy weight, be compliant, don't miss appointments, take medications, and follow your diet plan. Wait time on the list is not lost if you're placed on hold. Travel plans. Prepare to stay close to the transplant center for two to four weeks after transplant. Costs may include hotel, parking, rental car, food, or gas. Total recommended savings is $2,500. And have a bag packed with your medication list, insurance cards, toiletries, and peritoneal dialysis exchanges if this applies to you. Successful transplant. You must take all your medications exactly as the doctor prescribes. Each one of the medicines help you to keep your new kidney healthy. If you stop taking your medications, you will reject your new kidney and you may not be considered for another transplant. Coming to your follow-up appointments is key to the success of your transplant. Pregnancy after transplant. Do not get pregnant within the first year after transplant. Immunosuppressive medications can cause birth defects and premature birth. Always discuss with your transplant physician if wanting to have a family. If you become pregnant after transplant, contact your transplant physician immediately. Adult Kidney Transplant Survival Report Release Date, January 5, 2021. The Adult Kidney Transplant Program at University Hospital in San Antonio has exceeded the national average in patient survival. Since 1970, our mission has been to restore health and life to patients with organ failure. Our exceptional survival outcomes are a testament to our evidence-based practices, advanced technologies, and patient-focused safety. 
our most recent outcomes above were published on January 5, 2021 by the Scientific Registry of Transplant Recipients, SRTR. They are based on one-year survival rates for transplants performed between July 1, 2017 and December 31, 2019. New reports are available every six months at srtr.org. How to find and compare transplant centers at srtr.org. The Scientific Registry of Transplant Recipients provides reports on every solid organ transplant program in the United States. Their mission is to help support the Department of Health and Human Services and its agents in their oversight of the National Organ Transplantation System. Go to srtr.org for information. Important things to remember. When you leave today, you are not on the transplant list. You will be notified if you're placed on the list or not. Talk to your family, friends, church, and work about living donations. Always stay in touch with us to let us know if you change your phone number, address, insurance, or dialysis clinic. Do not miss any scheduled appointments as part of your transplant evaluation. Please call us because we want to hear from you. We are grateful you have chosen University Transplant Center and look forward to working with you for your transplant needs. If you have any questions, please call us at 888-336-9633.